Welcome to Hamer Reviews, my name is Christopher Hamer and today we're going to be looking at the January 2023 production from my solar panels here in the UK. Now unsurprisingly, the themes from my December video, linked above, have continued into January. We are in Western Europe, specifically in the UK, the weather is never going to be that great, there was a lot of cloud and a lot of overcast weather. However, a bright spell towards the end of the month did mean that we were able to see what the panels could do if given a chance of some good weather. So hopefully we get some useful analysis from that. We're also going to look at the comparison between the north 4 kilowatt array and the south 4 kilowatt array and see how those compared as well, taking into account that in December the north side produced 25% of our power and the south side 75%. So let's get into the details. First off, in total um, we were able to produce 158 kilowatt hours. Now that's still not a huge amount of power given that the house needed 318 but it's almost 50% of our usage and I do find it positive that even in the month of January even with pretty bad weather we're still able to produce so much power uh, that we need because realistically I thought that number would end up being lower and so I'm glad to see that's still the case. Of course, if we look at specifics, there were some days where we were completely reliant on the grid, pretty much, and some days where we weren't reliant on it at all. In fact, there was a period from roughly the 19th to the 23rd of December, uh, January where we really didn't need much power from the grid at all, so that was good news as well. The battery, unsurprisingly, continues to play an important role and in fact 105 kilowatt hours of our power came via the Solar Edge home battery. Once again, um, that 70% of the power that we produced um, came through the batteries, meaning that we were able to make the most of it, so it's, it's good to see that as well. The thing that I find most interesting is that north versus south um, divide, as it were because in December, as I mentioned, it was 75% on the north and, sorry, 75% on the south and 25% on the north. This month, it has shifted so that actually 70% was produced on the south side and 30% on the north side. So we're starting to see the north side come into its own a little bit more. Ironically, I think that the reason that that split was almost slightly better was actually due to the bad weather because when it is cloudy, they just produce the same amount pretty much as the south side. So all that cloudy weather is logically going to mean that we're going to see slightly more even usage between the two sides. Now, as we get into the end of February, March, those north panels are going to start to be hit by direct sunlight and we will definitely see that figure shift. But at least in January, when they're not getting any um, direct sunlight at all, the cloud cover really did um, make a difference in terms of helping to make the most of the north panels. Now as I alluded to, at the end of the month we did have some really nice weather which meant that we were able to produce some really good figures. Unfortunately the start of the month was the opposite. Uh, for instance on the 3rd of January we produced less than one kilowatt hour and we went through this uh, phase of having like two to three days of mediocre cloud and then really heavy cloud and just not producing much so pretty much the the 3rd, 7th, 10th, 12th, 14th and 16th of January were all days where we didn't produce more than two kilowatt hours so the production figures weren't great. On those days, our reliance on the grid was obviously very high, uh, with 80 or even 90% imported. Now we were able to actually export 10 kilowatt hours of power. Uh, the reason for that was mostly that really nice spell of weather, where on most days we were actually exporting around, you know, one kilowatt hour, maybe a little less. But on the 22nd of January, we were able to export four kilowatt hours, for instance, and the rest sort of was just distributed amongst the rest of the month because you always tend to export a little bit every day. Um, so yeah, it was nice to be able to export a little bit of power. Obviously, it's not worth much. 10 kilowatt hours in the grand scheme of things is a very little amount but it is pointing towards a trend where we're going to start exporting more and more and it's going to make a real big difference in March, April, May, June, July and August. I do have to say it was also really cool to see that we only needed to import 
pretty much one kilowatt hour between the 19th and the 23rd of January. So that sort of self-reliance um, in good weather was really cool. Again, it was only due to good weather, but it was, it was interesting to see that that was possible even in you know the middle of winter. Another thing that was interesting is we again got very close to the projected figure from SolarEdge. So SolarEdge predicted that we would produce 170 kilowatt hours in January, we produced 160 kilowatt hours. So despite that terrible weather, uh, we still pretty much nailed the amount that they uh, suggested we produce. Again, giving me some hope for the higher predictions uh, that for later on in the month, uh, sorry, later on in the year. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out as well. Generally then, January wasn't uh, the most amazing uh, month for solar power generation in the UK, but then again, I would never expect it to be. Um, I'm actually recording this in February because I had to re-record the previous video due to a slight recording error. And now in the middle of February, we've already exported 30 kilowatt hours and our um, import is only 25% of the power that we needed. So if that continues, we might actually in March already be almost completely self-reliant. So that will be really interesting as well. So watch this space, make sure you subscribe as I said, so you don't miss those future videos. I think we'll leave it here in January because it is so similar to the December video, but it is positive. And I look forward to seeing how things progress as we move through uh, spring. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, pop them in the comment section below. And if you haven't already, make sure you do subscribe. Thanks very much, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.